Five signs someone is hurting and wants you. Number one, they become stuck. When a person is hurting and wants you back after a breakup, one of the signs you notice is that they cannot move on with their life. They become miserable and stuck and would most likely revert to an unhealthy habit or the other. Because of the unique nature of individuals, people respond differently to breakups. If the breakup is mutual and things ended amicably, you could both go your separate ways and move on with your lives. On the other hand, someone who still loves you might find it difficult to get along with other people. They remain single for a very long time in hopes that someday you will get back together or because they cannot find anyone to replace you in their hearts. Even when they go into another relationship, it does not work out because they would most likely be looking for you in that person. So their emotional life is usually a wreck and they cannot find anyone to sort out the mess. Apart from emotions and relationships, when a person is hurting, it might affect their emotional state generally. They may become unable to function properly at work, would be easily distracted because they're constantly thinking of you. Some people resort to isolating themselves from the rest of the world. Since they feel broken, they look for other means to fill the gap in their hearts. They might decide to remain indoors all day, watching movies or just crying, avoid people, refuse to socialize or they might even become depressed. Some might start partying aggressively, anything to just fill the void and ease the pain in their hearts. Usually, none of these works out for them as they get right back to where they started, feeling hurt and miserable and wanting you back. When you notice your ex cannot move on with their lives after you break up, or they resort to habits you do not know them for, it might just be that they want you back, but are either too shy to say or their ego is keeping them in check. Number two, they tell you plainly. This can be quite rare and difficult as most people tend to be prideful or would prefer to suffer in silence than admit they need you back in their lives. However, it makes it very easy for the both of you when a person can tell you plainly what or how they feel about you. You do not have to keep guessing and going around circles wondering if they still love you or if you could still work things out. Depending on the type of individual involved and the uniqueness of your relationship, a person might decide to go straight to the point and tell you just how miserable his or her life has been without you. They might not start out with you directly and could decide to go through your friends or family, especially if they were the cause of the breakup. When a person wants you back in their lives, they would go to any extent to achieve that. They might have been trying subtle methods to let you know what and how they feel, giving you signals here and there by keeping in touch, treating you nice, making you see that they are changed and are very much single and other things. But if it looks like you're not getting the point, they might decide to come to you straight and discuss things. They will most likely apologize for the wrongs they have done if they were at fault or tell you how they are ready to overlook the past and move on with you, even if you were the cause of the breakup. They just want to smooth things out and make everything go back to the norm. The fact that a person is ready to accept their faults, apologize and work things out with you is a sign that they want you back. As long as you do not end up repeating the same mistakes and are both willing to accept each other, it's a good place to start from again. Number three, they cannot stand seeing you with others. Can you imagine seeing the one you love with another person? Do you know the hurt and pain you go through watching someone with whom you are attached going out with someone else? If you do, maybe you would understand the reason your ex has been avoiding you. If your ex cannot stand seeing you with someone or they act jealous, that may be a signal that they are hurting and still want you back. In some cases, a person can act as though it doesn't matter or be indifferent because they want to keep their pride and cannot afford to let you know how miserable they are without you. But sooner or later, they would come out or you would see it in their actions and behavior, especially when you are with other people. Number four, they keep in touch. 
Communication is the first thing that stops or comes to an abrupt end after a breakup. It's like an unspoken rule, and the break in contact is presumably to give you both time to heal and go on your separate ways. Even if the breakup was mutual and things ended on good terms, which is quite rare in the first place, there should still be some kind of distancing. If your ex breaks this no contact rule first, it might be a sign that they want you back in their lives. Sometimes you might feel they just want to make things right and stay friends, but the extent to which they keep the communication line is an indication of what they feel. Some might start out by keeping in touch with your friends and family, asking to know how you are doing, what's going on in your life and wanting to know how you're faring without them. The fact that they don't cut contact with people close to you means they still want to have something to do with you. They are not over you and would want to start over again. After going through the route of friends, they might decide to pick up the whole thing with you again. It will probably start with a courtesy call to check how you're doing. Then they might start dropping random messages, calling to discuss issues, seeking your advice on important decisions of their lives. They tell you what's going on in their lives even when you do not ask. And they make it very clear that they are single and have not found anyone else. They will also try to find out things about you, especially your love life. They want to know who you're going out with, if you're dating someone, or whether you have gotten over them. Of course, they might not ask directly, but their discussions and questions will usually be focused on these things. When they find the window still open, they keep the communication consistent such that they are always within the circumference of your thoughts and would be willing to get back with them. In conversing regularly, they will most likely be willing to share their feelings and express their miserable state, especially on days when they are vulnerable. As long as they are sincere and you also want the same thing, you should see that as a positive sign and bring an end to their misery. Number 5. They keep reliving old memories. The things they say whenever they have a chance to converse with you can also tell you about the state of their hearts along with their actions. If they are trying to bring up old memories, reminding of the things you did, the times you shared, the fun you had and all of that, chances are that they still want to have those things with you. If it were a physical meeting, observe the way they look into your eyes, their body language. It says a lot about the pain they're going through being separated from you. They might also try to make physical contact and touch you any chance they get. Someone who is no longer interested in a relationship with you but only wants to be friends will hardly bring up matters that stirs up feelings about the past. Even if it comes up, they find a way to avoid it or might become uncomfortable discussing it with you. Apart from that, it's not uncommon to find people who are still in love with their ex going to places they visited before together or doing things that keeps the person alive in their hearts. For instance, if you used to eat together or go on dates to a particular spot, you might find them visiting that spot regularly. It's either they are trying to use those memories to ease the hurt or they are hoping that they might bump into you and maybe get a chance to start all over again. Moreover, if they hold on to your stuff and give excuses, saying they are not around whenever you try to get those things, it might just be their way of telling you they still want to get back with you. Getting your things from them might be a form of total and complete break and since they hope to get back with you, they would not want to let go of your things. If your ex is still holding your things, trying to reach you, bringing up old memories and doing things and activities that reminds them of you, it could be that they are still hurting and want you back.